Rocky Mount has always been a railroad town, and it's in a redeveloping area just a block or so from the tracks through the heart of town where Prime Smokehouse was created. The city's longstanding partisanship toward Eastern North Carolina-style barbecue has also been redeveloping in recent years. Ed, you got into your particular style of barbecue business at just the right time. That's true, that's true. When we came to North Carolina, I came from a whole different experience. My father was from Houston, Texas, and so for him, barbecue meant brisket, it meant ribs, it meant smoked chicken. So I subsequently added pork shoulder to our menu. We slow smoked that pork shoulder, we pull it to pieces, we add the vinegar that style, so that became just one more part of all of the different types of barbecue that we had. But my experience was a Texas experience. And so when you, people look at the menu, they recognize that it's sort of an amalgamation of a lot of different things. The owner and chef's father was also a jazz saxophonist. Blues and barbecue have always had an affinity, but there was also more than that in play that contributed to the son's heritage as a chef. A lot of the places were segregated in those days, and you couldn't just walk in any restaurant and feed a big band. And so what he would do is he'd cook. He'd go to the store, he'd bring back a whole big bag of groceries. He'd turn into a king's feast for his, for his musician uh, bandmates. Now let us return to considering slow-smoked beef brisket. There is so much art involved in getting brisket just right where it's moist and tender and retains all that wonderful rich flavor. There is a lot of expertise in that piece of meat. Now I'll definitely reach out and pull back a rib and these will have you really reaching across the table too. Ooh. I always call these contest ribs, and the reason I do that is because when you bite into it, you want it to be a distinct bite and not be falling off the bone. Mm. Whoever cooked those will find a trophy waiting somewhere if they're into competition. <laughs> I've been absolutely captivated by the rich color of these orange ginger yams. Oh, that orange juice just causes that to really come alive there. Mmm, fabulous. Try a bite of the beautiful cornbread with those yams. And this, a mac and cheese masterpiece with cheese sauce, a breadcrumb topping, and then even more loose cheese to melt and bubble. I'm constantly amazed at how many flavor profiles and sets of textures you can get in mac and cheese. But as you can see, this is one beautiful, cohesive whole what a nice color, especially when it's sitting next to the deep green of collard greens. Mm, 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 mm. Ed Wiley III spent part of his childhood in Baltimore. Maybe include Maryland-style crab cakes on the menu? Hmm, you think? Mm, mm, mm -hmm. Try that. I really, really like the way this place grills, then chills the shrimp for an otherwise traditional shrimp cocktail. Why don't more places do that? And there's gumbo. Mm. You typically get a lot of shellfish in seafood gumbo, but not so much fish because it falls apart. But this is holding nice and firm. And again, look at the really dark, rich color of that roux. Someone used to repair cars in what is now the Prime Smokehouse, but then the proprietor's wife, Yalom, took charge of making the space beautiful. I did because I saw these big windows in this space that was called garage, and I knew this can turn around and becoming a beautiful place. Yes, indeed. Great ambiance, great barbecue, and great dessert to top it all off, including a rich butter-crusted peach cobbler with ice cream. No need to say more. The Prime Smokehouse is at 207 East Thomas Street in Rocky Mount, and they're open daily for lunch and dinner beginning at 11 a.m. For more information, give them a call at 252-972-7770 or visit them online at primesmokehouse.com.